Hey y'all, this is old Jesse. Uh, today is we're going to talk about righteous precept number three. Um, this is uh, dealing with human nature. So let, let's uh, let's give it an ear and give it the old listen to, see how that works. Uh, the verses that I quote here are verses that I translated myself. So be aware of that. Okay. Righteous precept number three. Humans are imperfect beings who have chaotic lust as a condition of mortality. This is driven by the nature of the body, called the law of sin in the flesh. Okay. What that says is sometimes we do and think things that we don't really want to, and we can't really control it. Um, but we can try. And you know, obviously it creates sin. Um, so let's turn over to Galatians 5, 16 to 18. I say additionally, spirit adds to your walk, and your desire of flesh does not fulfill you, for this chaotic flesh is beneath the spirit. This antagonism of spirit debases the flesh. This antagonism is not against it. If you resolve yourself to make it, if continuous spirit leads, it is not by law. Now, I know that sounds very different from the King James and from most other translations. But basically what this says is the spirit dominates flesh. OK, if you let it, if you're working for it, if that's what you want. OK. That's what it means by the antagonism is not against it. It just dominates it you know, completely. So think about that. Okay, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Free yourself. You are under the previous way of life. The old man, the corruption under the desi desire that deceives. Now, that verse links the chaotic flesh with the desire that deceives. Human beings are obviously capable of deceiving ourselves. We lie to ourselves all the time. We don't even think about it. It's part of the reason why I do silly videos on, you know, saying, hey, uh, just an old dumb red neck here or whatever, you know. Like I'm making fun of myself because I know I'm not as intelligent as I think I am sometimes in my head. But, um, and so the desire that deceives here is a very obvious thing when linked with chaotic flesh. Now let's let's read Romans chapter 7 verse 25. Gratefulness to God through Jesus Christ, master of me, so then he I serve with a sure mind by command given by God that is antagonistic to flesh giving law of sin or to the flesh giving law of sin. Okay. So the spirit is antagonistic to flesh, but it's dominant. Do you understand? So the, the whole thing needs to be understood together. That's why I have uh, Galatians 5, 16 to 18 and Romans 7, 25, because they say slightly different things in the Greek. Okay. One says, if you're absolutely committed, then the flesh isn't even antagonism. And the other one says that the spirit is antagonism to the flesh. Okay. But that's, that's when you're weak, you know? And so that flesh giving law of sin, that's the chaotic lust. Okay. So when we're weak, we have to go to the spiritual thoughts and fight against the chaotic lust. That should be obvious, but you know, some folks, they, they get uh, wrapped up in other thoughts and, 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 and don't, don't think that way. But that, those are my thoughts on that subject. All right, y'all. Have a good one.